Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to Asphalt Maniacs. On today's episode, I'm going to go ahead and detail a 2016 Dodge Charger that belongs to my friend. Now, there's a funny story behind this car. She went to some town out of Mexico, and I guess there was fighting roosters. Yeah, well, fighting roosters, right? And the story behind that is that the roosters were close to the vehicle and I guess they started fighting and they started scratching at the paint job. This being a black car, it's very noticeable and you can see hopefully by the images that I'm showing that the clear coat got really scratched up. I'm hoping and praying that we, I'm able to go ahead and remove those scratches. I just thought the story was funny that the roosters scratched up the paint work. Let's get started guys. <music> Fortunately, I have three days to detail this car. I'm just not gonna get nowhere right now because it's raining and it looks like it's gonna continue to rain. But the weather report says that tomorrow should be clear. So I should be okay to leave the exterior for tomorrow. I got pretty far in the interior though. Um, I still need to do the carpets, do the seats, do the extraction on all that. So all I did was vacuum and Tomorrow we'll worry about doing the extraction on the seats and all that. Then we'll start to polish. We'll cut and buff on and on the polish and all that. Stay tuned for part two later on. All right, guys, it's day number two. It's trying to get started on the interior, doing the extraction, so I can set it out in the sun, have it dry up. I actually have a lot of work today. I got two cars that I have to detail. You guys will probably remember this car that I'm about to show you. I just need to do a quick engine bay detail, interior detail, and it's out of here.
I am definitely not done for the day. I have to finish off detailing this bad boy. Do you guys remember the, the restoration we did on the 65 Chevelle? Well, it came back. My dad had to repaint the blue. It's starting to fade for some reason. Now, it could be the old Bondo that was put on here uh, prior to us working on the vehicle. It just started sucking in the, old, the paint that it had the first time. But now it looks much, much better, in my opinion. So I gotta go ahead and detail this. Gotta start off with the engine bay. Now I'm not gonna show the detail on this car just because the lighting in here isn't that good. The camera's not probably gonna pick up a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna be detailing on. If you guys wanna see the restoration of the 65 Chevelle, click on this link up here and you guys will be able to see it. Uh, I gotta get back to work guys, so I'm gonna end the video for today here. The charger still needs one more final wash. I'm gonna go ahead and ceramic wash the whole outside and uh, throw some ceramic on the windshield. I won't do that until the next day. So the owner's gonna be out of town. So anyways, I got the time. That's why I'm gonna start on the Chevelle and get that done, get that out the way. So next time you guys will see me on this video, will probably be two days after I, I, start, I filmed this, so I gotta go, bye. Hey everyone, so real quick update. I am on my way to my eye doctor who is gonna probably do laser eye surgery or either some shots in my eyes. Yes, you heard that correctly. I get shots in my eyes because of my diabetic retinopathy. Uh, at this point, my right eye, I can only see probably like 70% out of. Like literally, if you guys want to know how my vision, my field of vision is, get like a Ziploc bag, put it over your eye, and that's exactly how my field of vision is. Hopefully, I'm able to finish up these details because I only have 24 hours to finish these details. And uh, hopefully by tomorrow, I'm not like completely blind where I can't do my job and do it correctly. You know, I just hope and pray that that's not the, the case. But uh, I'm going to be on my way to the retina specialist and we'll see what he says. So the procedure went well as well as a needle in the eye can go. I have a little eye patch thing just as a precaution but uh, I'm on route to my house just to get some rest for the rest of the day and uh, hopefully by tomorrow I can finish off my projects. So check you out in a couple of hours. All right, situation report on my eyes. I can't see shit. Can you guys see that? It's all red. Feels like there's sandpaper all up in my eyeballs. But we still gotta work. We still gotta work. We still gotta pay the American dream, you know? So let's get to it. Slick products, ultimate shine and protective. It brings back this nice glossy black shine without being greasy or anything like that. I love this stuff. All right, folks, this is the final result. We've got everything back to black, no more faded, no more dusty, dusty, all that. I gotta say it. I love a clean engine bay. There's no better feeling than popping your hood up and seeing all of this looking beautifully brand new like when you first bought the car.
the rims and tires are done, I went ahead and soaked the whole paint and um, shampooed it with my regular Extreme Body wash and wax. I really don't need to do this step because I'm going to go ahead and do what's called a uh, Hydro Soot Ceramic Car Wash Soap. So I could have just done this and been done. But there was a couple of residue spots here from the buffing that you really can't just get off by doing this with the foam gun so this is the last hurrah that we're gonna go ahead and do i'm wearing sunglasses because after my surgery the sunlight is bothering me so much i'm kind of detailing blind right now guys it comes with the territory i really can't see shit but you guys are gonna be the judge at the end the result because if it looks like crap you guys will know why <laughs> nah it'll never look like crap i mean it'll look a lot better than when it came in that's for sure all right, let's get to it, guys. everybody for tuning in to asphalt maniacs on this amazing episode of me detailing this beautiful dodge charger it's been a grind in the past three days i've gone from just detailing to getting eye surgery to all kinds of stuff but we made it thank you for tuning in once more and i'll catch you in the next one goodbye <laughs>